Hello everyone and welcome to another bold review here on the channel. This time for the comic book bundle with a toon ball. And it took me a while actually to understand why it looked so, you know, cartoonish. But then obviously when I read and I saw the name and everything like that, I kind of figured it out. Felt really, really dumb when I was uh, realizing uh, that in the end before we have a closer look at all the content make sure to hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for those of you that are looking to improve your game even more scan the qr code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash called clash tommy via the link that is in the description down below there, there you will find all our premium guide packages checkpoint challenge tour play tournament play and you can start improving your game already today all right we're bringing comics to life with a new toon ball power five backspin boost a three side spin three and wind resistance five this is the first time we do get a power five and a wind five together with a side spin three and also the first time we do get a power five with wind five and a backspin boost so it's a very special ball in that sense with very unique stats but i'm not that thrilled about it and i will explain the, uh, why in just a bit uh, you can definitely try this ball, like in terms of like a free uh, trial, uh, try before you buy. Uh, it is, in my opinion, important before you invest to have a little look, to check the needle speed, check the ball centering, depending on what type of player you are, and then make a decision after that. So why am I not so thrilled then? Uh, you know, when it comes from a tournament perspective, the power five win five, definitely a good thing. The backspin boost could possibly be giving us some sort of value on some par threes but i've been looking through the par threes that we have in the game and i can't really see any par three where this ball will kind of stand out as a must one in terms of okay here i can actually benefit from the power five together with the backspin boost three and then obviously the wind resistance five which means like i do personally and i know there's others as well i do have loads of backspin boost ball in with various power ranges especially when we've had a couple of power three ones um coming pretty recently that we are pretty stocked up with the backspin boost uh, ball in general when it comes to being a general par 3 ball, this is not a ball that you're going to play with on a par 3. You might use it to set up, um, but that's about it. Um, when it comes to par 4s, par 5s, here is where this ball is becoming you know, a good ball to use. Especially on some par 4s uh, and some of the longer par 5s, uh, this ball will most definitely have some value. So it's, not, it's most definitely not... A terrible ball in that sense but i give it a 6 out of 10 as i do struggle to find much value in general with this ball one thing to also consider with this uh, ball is that it is a bit big so we all know that obviously the game makers has not learned to have a proper size on their ball and i know from a tournament perspective it's most definitely something that is not crucial but very very important and if a player gets to choose between a smaller ball or a bigger ball, in general, a player will be choosing a smaller ball. It's because when it's bigger, it's always going to overlap those you know, triangles that is inside the circle. And it's going to be harder to know if you're centered with overlapping it rather than being slightly off. When it comes to tour play, and we do have uh, the needle speed that is not super duper plus one overpower needle stability but mainly as i say when it comes to par threes you know, on tour play doesn't matter if you play the front tee tours the middle tees or the uh, the back tees having a power five ball is not something you want to have in the shootouts and you are picking a ball in tour play that you will use in shootout because the majority of the games is going to shoot out and you don't want to have a disadvantage by being uh, in scenarios where an in-between club situation is gonna be happening more often than not and that's what it's gonna happen with a power five and also with a power zero ball for an example the wind five is definitely a positive thing the side spin is a positive thing the backspin boost can be helpful if you have lower level clubs but the power in tour play is important to be somewhere between power i mean power one absolutely but generally between power two to power four checkpoint challenge here is where this ball uh, gets some extra cred from my end. 8.5 out of 10, 
this is not as good as it can get because I would benefit more or we would benefit more for some uh, top spin boost, I do believe, rather than the back spin boost. Uh, but the power 5 win 5 is absolutely brilliant. The side spin 3 is great as well. I would love to have a little bit better overpower needle stability as we will be using this ball in overpowering checkpoint challenge. And when you do play with a club with a poor accuracy, then we of course want to hit perfect more often than great. As a great ball will fly way much to the left or way much to the right if you have a uh, club with a bad accuracy. But... One other thing as well when it comes to this ball from a checkpoint challenge perspective is that there could be times where you go in with this ball to play with this ball to then go to the shootout and you could actually benefit from the backspin boost as you do maybe have clubs that has a very little amount of backspin and this ball can then be used all the way throughout uh, um, yeah, a match against your opponent where many other balls is not going to be able to do that you're most likely going to find yourself thinking that you should maybe switch in the shootouts or you're going to have to play some type of an awkward shot so from a checkpoint challenge perspective absolutely a massive value in terms of investing in this ball in my opinion now let's have a look at the needle speed and such in action you can also see that the ball is a little bit small uh, sorry a little bit big and here you see plus one overpower needle is not good at all and here look how the ball is that when i have at the top arrows then i'm overlapping at the top then i'm moving back a little bit and i'm overlapping a little bit at the bottom for me again as a tournament player that do care about the ball centering i think that's harder for me than if the ball would be a little bit smaller um you know small thing for many players a big thing for uh uh, yeah from uh, from a tournament player perspective so there you do have it ladies and gentlemen gentlemen the tomb ball in the comic book bundle let me know what you think in the comment section below if you enjoyed the ball review smash the thumbs up on your way out thank you for watching i wish you the best of luck in your gold clash game